Humankind is faced with a wide range of global challenges. These challenges need immediate and coordinated response from public and private sector. It is clear that for the prosperous future, it is necessary to integrate sustainability in our way of life, state policies, and business models. The accumulation of scientific knowledge and advanced technology solutions has been the driver of progress in society. It has changed human life. It has also enabled the transfer of ideas, knowledge, goods, and people faster than ever. But it is not clear whether all this knowledge, discoveries, and advanced technologies are bringing us towards some sort of developmental peak of our civilization or towards its downfall. It seems that in many cases, rapid social progress has also increased human egoism. This is often reflected in an ignorant attitude towards the environment and in an increasing incidence of exploitation, even armed conflict and killing. Thus, we must never forget that the real value of any science, technology, or progress can only be measured in terms of how beneficial they truly are for the people and our planet. For further development and prosperity of our humankind and planet, we need sound solutions, sound foundations. And these are a mixture of three things. First, the principles and rules of true ethical, legal, and other values. Second, the necessity to cooperate. And third, strong awareness of the importance of the sustainability. It is my profound belief that in attaining cutting edge and sustainable solutions for the future, we need to rely strongly on our moral values and progressive experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, Slovenia's sustainability is anchored in its nation's state of mind and the way of life. Among key catalysts of our nation's sustainability are the technology, strong educational system, creativity of Slovenian people, and, the res and respect for work and nature. Slovenians have been building reputation of innovative and technological nation. Our long engineering tradition encompasses inquisitiveness, challenging technical limits of perfection, and eagerness to deliver innovation by creation and smartness. Therefore, it is not a surprise that export of goods and services account to 75% of the Slovenian GDP. Such result can only be obtained through unleashing creativity by virtues of both discipline and improvisation. Creativity is a generator for a conception of large number of startups and flexible small enterprises. Innovations are ingrained in the country's trademark. It is a reflection of our long-standing industrial tradition and propensity to challenge limits to technical perfection. Excellencies, Slovenia's long-term vision is building a society based on solidarity and tolerance on one hand and becoming a truly sustainable economy and environment community on the other hand. As a responsible global partner, my country is fully sharing its part of responsibility for global peace and prosperity. We are pioneering in recognizing sustainable development goals as integral part of our budgetary and developmental plans, as well as being among the first governments officially introducing circular economy. The recently revealed vision of Slovenia 2050 main highlights are embedded in trust, innovative society, learning for and through life, well-being, and identity. The Slovenia's vision of future societies is its development in harmony with the environment and thus achieving a balanced, high-quality standard of living. The vision of Slovenia 2050 is also a guiding document 
for the new development strategy called Slovenia 2030 that is currently being drafted. The strategy is focusing essentially on the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It is important for our countries and for the international community as a whole to have a vision and strategy for the future. But all these documents are important as long as they do not stay just a piece of paper. Implementation is what really matters. Therefore, it is crucial to make a single step each day. As Vincent van Gogh, one of the world's best painters, once said, great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. Here, let me also stress that educating today's youth is indispensable for achieving a sustainable global future. We often think that we need to buy apartments, cars, and other material things for our children to enable them secure and positive future. But we forget that the best way to provide them such future is to be an example with our own positive behavior and work. Our youth is truly our future, but we must not forget that we are future for them as well. Living according to true values and being a good example is the best teacher for youth. The belief that youth are the driving force for our future has been long on the agenda of the United Arab Emirates. With the engagement of young people, the United Arab Emirates is an important example of inclusive work in planning our future. Burden of future choices and ensuing responsibilities are defined by the size, scope, and pace of the deep-rooted transformation of societies. The process of the fourth industrial revolution is altering lifestyles of people and companies. The revolution itself often hinders the understanding, of, the understanding of where the societies are heading. The need for the scholars, governments, and businesses to cooperate in presenting solutions to the benefit of humankind is greater than, is greater than ever. One of the faces of the modern world is the digitalization of societies. Its mission is to adapt legal framework, knowledge and skills, public system functioning, as well as economic activities and services to the new paradigm. And flexibility is a key in the ongoing digital transformation. However, fostering interconnectedness between people and digital technologies must not be at the expense of emotional and social dimension. Therefore, Slovenia advocates digitalization with a human face. Ladies and gentlemen, Slovenia is not allocating all its strength only and just to the development of new technological solutions, innovations, and inventions. But our vision is to use modern digital technology to improve the quality of life and pursue sustainable and inclusive growth. We are also focused towards exploring opportunities for more effective state administration fun functioning and creation of new business initiatives in the framework of the digital economy. Slovenian government is the first government in the world that received an authorization for its state cloud, which proves that it meets the most demanding standards for providing cloud services. I believe the viable way for increased productivity lies in new technologies and drawing on different kinds of partnership. In this regard, Slovenia recently started a pilot corporate car sharing project between private and public sector on electric car sharing for public employees. Expected impacts of the project are more efficiently allocated state resources, reduced emissions, reduced numbers of cars, and raising awareness and implementation of better connected digital and sharing economy. Excellencies, the best time to plant a tree 
is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. The quote of an anonymous author reminds us that the solutions for tomorrow's problems have to be found and implemented today. Slovenia is ambitious, endeavoring to evolve into a green reference, green reference country with a digital transformed society. It does not concede to merely follow global trends, but wishes to actively co-shape them and in this way contribute to common efforts to leave the planet to our children in good condition. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you fruitful and productive debates. Thank you.